to make this video uh, to show how to make mounts for controllers, headsets, really anything that you're looking to, to do, uh, any small items that you want to mount to a wall, or in my case I'm mounting it to a desk. But I saw a video before uh, that went into this in some detail and it gave me kind of what I needed but I had to do some additional research uh, so I wanted to kind of put together a video that put everything into it so hopefully you know, it'll be a, a one-stop shop uh, for the video, but what you're going to need uh, to make these is you can go to your local hardware store, Lowe's, uh, or Home Depot, whichever one is closest to you, or anything else, you know, if you've got something else in your area. But just the local hardware store is going to have this, um, you know, the larger warehouse stores. Uh, so all you need to do is get 12 inches of uh, gauge 6, 6 gauge uh, electric wire. Uh, you can get them in multiple colors, so you can customize this however you want. Um, they had black, red, green. Uh, where I was, I also saw some yellow, some white, um, and I believe blue. But those were in different gauges. But I'm sure you can you can find these in whatever color you need in six gauge wire. Um, I recommend six gauge because it's, it it's easier to bend and hold that bend. And you'll see what I mean here in a minute. Um, so you need six uh, 12 inch. 12 inch 6 gauge wire. You need a quarter inch coax clamp. That's a one quarter inch coax clamp. That looks like this. It's just a little plastic piece with a screw on it. The cable will slide right into here when you're ready to mount it. I'll show you what that looks like. And you need these little end caps. Uh, this is a quarter inch screw end cap. It's made out of plastic uh, or rubber. And this is what it looks like and the packaging it comes in. Uh, this was gotten from Lowe's, uh, but it is the Hillman white quarter inch screw cover. Um, I recommend quarter inch because anything larger than that, like the next size up, I believe it's 5 sixteenths, is a little bit too big and the caps can slide off the cable uh, if you're not careful with it and you'll just lose these pretty easily. Um, the quarter inch fits nice and snug onto a six gauge cable. Um, so. I choose, I'm going to choose to use red for this particular mount uh, because I'm going to mount, use it to mount my HyperX uh, Cloud Stinger headset. We'll be mounting to this. You can do this for controllers as well, and I'll show you that right here. Under the desk, you'll see uh, I already have these two mounts here. I've got the green mount for my uh, Xbox controller. I've uh, got my cable, my charge cable plugged in. I just lay it right in. It mounts, uh, mounts perfectly fine. And then underneath that, I have my PlayStation 4 controller in the red. I was hoping to get the, a blue cable for it, uh, but uh, they did not have blue in 6 gauge uh, at the store I went to. So I went with the red. But I'm going to do another red one for the Hyper X just because it kind of goes along with the, the coloring of the, um, of the Hyper X logo. So. This is very simple. You take your 12 inch cable, you bend it into a U shape like that. And it's very easy to bend. You just kind of keep bending it until it kind of gets into the shape you're looking for. Once you get that done, I like to hold it like that between both thumbs, grab the top like that, and then just kind of squeeze it in like that. You just start to squeeze it and then it's going to bend up. So you can do like that and it kind of creates this W look. Um, and then you're going to be left with this this pattern, what, you know, this kind of design here with it. Now what you do at that point, take your headset or whatever it is you want to mount, lay it inside like that, just let it lay in there. And so you can get a, a good idea of the fit, whether or not it's going to fit well. And if it does fit well, then you're done. If it doesn't, which if you're doing a controller and you've got those analog sticks, like the PlayStation 4 has the symmetrical analog sticks, the Xbox has the asymmetrical analog sticks, you know, they're kind of off kilter versus straight linear. Um, you'll have to work with molding, molding these pieces here until they fit around the 
uh, analog sticks the way that you want them to fit and they and the back piece the back right here and right here fits into the mold of the controller so for instance this uh, Xbox controller here if I were to fit it in to this you already see it's pushing on that analog stick right here and on the back you would also see it, it doesn't really fit well you see this this right here is kind of too far left so it's not really fitting snug up under where, right here where it should be and this one this one almost is so you would just want to take that and just start to, to mold it more, you know, bend it, mold it, get it to the point where it fits whatever it is you want to mount uh, snug so that it's not slipping around and sliding while it's, while it's in there. Um, but once you get it the way that you want it, which with a headset, it doesn't really matter because of the way the headsets are built. It's just going to slide in. Um, just take your end cap, pop it on the end here. And this is mainly just for, for aesthetics. You don't have to do this, but otherwise you're just going to have this exposed wire here. It's just going to look, I think it looks better if you get an end cap. And you can get these in multiple, like I said, multiple colors. Um, but the quarter inch at the store I went to was only in white, so I got the white one. Uh, so there, I got the mount built right here. So that that's, that's the mount, or that's the holster itself. To mount it, we just take the coax cable. I'm going to slip it right into that. It clamps right on. Quarter inch is very nice. It fits very well with a six gauge, gauge cable. Then just take this now and screw it right into whatever you want to screw it into. So for me, I'm going to put it into this table. And for you, you can put it into the wall. Um, wherever you want to mount it, it doesn't matter. Just take it, screw it in, and you're done. Then you just, uh, just lay it in there. Um, so that's the video. Hopefully this helps. Uh, once again, 12 inch, six gauge wire, one quarter inch coax clamp, and two quarter inch screw covers uh, is all that all this takes to make this all in this wire is currently 87 cent per foot so this cost me 87 cent for the wire it cost me 97 cent for four of these so you know if we if we, if we did it on a on a per mount basis you know we'll take half of that we'll just say 50 cent um, just for the heck of it so we'll say 90 cent for the cable 50 cent for the um, the caps so right now we're at a dollar forty and then this thing this was like two ninety nine I think for this bag of twenty um, so let's say that's uh, what twenty cent a piece um, or fifteen cent a piece something like that so all in I'm like a dollar sixty five you know dollar fifty five would you know less than two bucks to make one of these yourself um, you know, if you do it on a per per mount basis but all in all, it cost me nine dollars for like everything together. Cause I bought four, I bought four of these cables. I bought um, you know twenty of these mounts, and I bought eight of these um, end caps. All in, I was less than ten bucks to make four of these, and still have pieces left over. All I have to do now is add eighty-seven cent now, uh, or a dollar forty more, uh, up until I use all these caps if I wanted to. So, less than two dollars to make one of these yourself. Um, on a per unit basis. So hope this video helped. Local hardware store, you can find all of this. Um, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, my channel is not really geared towards anything specific. I just kind of get in here and do the things that I want to do, talk about the things I want to talk about, hopefully show the things I want to show. Uh, hopefully some of you will like some of it, some of you won't, some of you will be indifferent, and that's fine. Uh, but hopefully you know, you take something from, from something in my videos that I post. So as always, have a great day and I will talk to you again later.